Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. In today's video, I will be doing an unboxing of my new Sawgrass Virtuoso SG-1000 sublimation printer. I am so excited to add this to my business. I currently just had a multi-needle embroidery machine, and so I'm so excited to add sublimation um, to be able to personalize so many more things from mugs to ornaments to doing sublimation shirts. So follow along with me. Let's unbox this. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I typically do embroidery and applique, but I'm so excited to start doing sublimation tutorials. So let's get this unboxing started and start working with our sublimation printer. So first off, let me go through what I got. I got this sublimation printer, the SG-1000 from Pro World. I'll link it in the description box below. They shipped super fast. A lot of the places I wanted to order from were out of stock or they weren't going to ship for a few weeks. I got this in two to three days, so super quick, and I'll link below some of the places I was looking at to get a sublimation printer, um, and kind of you can kind of see which one has the best price and which one has some available. Uh, so I got the sublimation printer um, from Heat Press Nation, I believe. I got some sublimation printer paper. This is eight and a half by eleven. I got some heat resistant tape and I got some 11 by 17 paper. I'm so excited to use this on baby gowns and pillowcases. Um, so again the SG-1000 printer prints 11 by 17 paper and then this um, I got this from Sam's Club. This is a roll it's butcher paper. It is 18 inches by 1,000 feet of butcher paper. This was super affordable. I feel like this was only 20-25 bucks from Sam's Club Online, so um, if you are a member, this is a great deal. I'll link some on Amazon as well, but this is huge. You're going to use butcher paper to protect your heat press um, when you're doing sublimation printing because sometimes the gas can travel and you don't want to ruin your heat press. So you're going to be using a lot of this. Again, I'll link everything I got in the description box below, And but let's get this um, printer unboxed. Alright, so let's see. I, I did open it to look at it. See if it was actually in there. Um, so with the particular one I got, um, I got this the kit that came with it. I believe okay, I'll have to um, see exactly which one. I'll link that one below. Um, but I had ordered. Let's see. I believe this is the ink. Yes, that's all the ink. So sublimation uses a special ink. Um, it's not just like a regular printer. So it's special sublimation ink. So we got that. Um, I believe I ordered a few sheets of paper because I didn't know if I was going to order some from another place. So I got some paper. All right, so here it is. Alright, I got it all set up. Again, I got the Sawgrass SG-1000. Um, this one does a little bit bigger paper. It can do, I believe, the, up to the 11 by 17 field. So yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get it set up. Um, I think now it's time to install the ink. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to load some sublimation paper into our printer. Um, in upcoming videos, I'll be testing out whether you need to use sublimation printer paper all the time or if you can just use regular copy paper. We'll be doing a test. But for now, I got some sublimation paper um, from Heat Press. You can pull out the tray. Okay, so you adjust the tray to the different size paper you're using. So I'll be using the 8.5 by 11, um, and then this will be for the 11 by 17 paper. So pretty cool. And you just use this green button right here. Okay, so now we've adjusted to the size that we're using. We're gonna load the paper with the watermark up and the printable side or the plain side down. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, nice and snug. Then we're gonna push this down. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna install our Cellgrass Sublejet ink cartridges. You can only use the sublimation printer ink on these printers, so make sure you get the Cellgrass ink that goes with the Cellgrass printer. Um, it does expire, so make sure it's not expired. As well as, if you are gonna open it, make sure you use it. Don't just open it and let it sit for a few months. You wanna make sure you're using it. Um, Cause I feel like I've seen somewhere that it will dry up. So make sure you're using it. Okay, so. Oh, look right here. So right here um, are the instructions on how to install the ink. You got a color M. We have Y. So we have magenta, yellow, cayenne, or cyan, and black. Okay? So you get these four inks. Um, I got the, I forget which bundle I got, either the starter or the, um, I'll link it below which bundle I got. Depending on which one you buy, you can get more ink with each bundle. Okay, so we're just going to unbox them and install them. So we go, it's supposed to go black, cayenne, magenta, yellow. So that's where we're going to install them like this. So, so we're just going to unbox them and put them in. So we hooked up the power cords, we've installed the paper, we installed the ink, and now I think we're gonna hit the power button. Let's we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so it says it's loading ink. First time, wait and do not touch the machine for seven minutes. So you have to let the ink load throughout the printer, which is pretty cool. I hope I did everything right. We'll see. All right, it says device is ready to go on my computer. My shirt is um, from Hobby Lobby. It was $10.99 and then 30% off. Um, it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex, so it's perfect for sublimation. Um, I'm not quite sure about the sizing yet. I haven't tried it on. I got a medium, which is what I typically wear, so we'll see at the end. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-press my shirt to make sure I get all the moisture out. And so I'm just going to place this on my heat press and I am going to cover it with protective paper. This is the butcher paper. I'm going to do like five to ten seconds just to release all the moisture. Okay. I don't know about that. I'm just going to place it over here. Okay, so I've pre-pressed my shirt to get the moisture out. And a big important step is to lint roll to make sure you get all of the lint off because it will leave little spots um, if you don't lint roll. So I would just lint roll the entire area that's going to be heated. Okay? So once that's done, we're going to print it off. Okay, so Creative Studio wasn't liking me, so I just went ahead and um, dropped this PNG I bought off of Etsy. I'll link it in the description box below. I dropped it into my Sawgrass Smart folder, which automatically brought it up for me to print. I changed my substrate to the polyester, um, and I changed my paper to the paper I'm using, the text print R paper. It automatically mirrors it, so that way you don't print it wrong, okay? So let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Okay, I'm going to hit print. Let's see. Okay, the first time I printed, look, it printed. Um, it was too small of paper, so now I'm going to make it 11 by 17. Now I have my um, 11 by 17 paper loaded. I have it on my print manager. So let's see if that works. Oh, so much better. I'm so excited. Okay, so. Hopefully that's going to fit on my shirt. We're going to trim around it and um, and then press it. Okay, so I've trimmed around it. I put a little crease in the center mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this shirt. And I 
actually already has a line in the center, so that's perfect. I'm gonna place some butcher paper in between the shirt so nothing escapes to the back. Do one more quick lint roll. All right, then I'm gonna use just a little bit of my um, heat proof tape. So I'm gonna line this little line up and I want it about an inch down. I don't want it too far down. That looks about right, okay. Place my tape down. Okay, it looks good, I'm so excited. Okay, then I'm gonna place my butcher paper on top. So it's about an inch down, I think that'll be good. Place this on top. It's at 400 degrees and I'm gonna do for one minute. So this is my old heat press. So it's a clam shell type heat press. This thing was super cheap. Um, on Amazon. I think we got it like, I want to say seven years ago. And so Here we go. I'm going to peel it off really quick. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So my camera just died. So I'm not quite sure what it captured, but so I peeled off my sublimation. Um, and look how good that looks. I am so impressed. Um, I do see a little spotting here where I probably should have um, lit rolled a little more, but overall, I mean, oh my gosh. For, for my first sublimation print, I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, first time using my sublimation printer. I'm so excited to add sublimation to my business. Um, it's so quick and easy. I mean, literally, I just printed out my image and pressed it on my shirt. So, what do you think? Comment below. I will link everything used today. I don't know if I can find this particular heat press. I'll try to find a super cheap option. As, um, so, I will link that along with my new Sawgrass printer. I'm telling you, wait till you see all the fun projects I have planned. Um, coming up, but yeah, I'm so excited to wear this. Look at the vibrant colors. I mean, that is awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. You're not going to want to miss out. It's going to be so much fun this holiday season. We're going to be going over gifts you can make for your family and friends, um, as well as things you can sell to your customers. Um, but yeah. I am a big fan of sublimation and I can't wait um, to show you more. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.